Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. It is Mrs. Somerville. Yes, you are expected. Oh. Thank you most kindly. Oh, what an elegant residence. Have you come far, Mrs. Somerville? Oh, yes, indeed. All the way from Chelsea. I took the steamer to Westminster about an hour. Was the river busy? Extremely. You can see the whole world on the Thames. <laughs> Mrs. Somerville. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Turner. My apologies if I force you to wait upon me. Oh, not at all. I've enjoyed a most pleasant interlude with your father. Huh. You find yourself well? Passing fair, thank you. And you? Indeed. Dr. Somerville, likewise? Oh, yes. He's much engaged in administering to the poor veterans. <laughs> well, now, it's a beautiful sunny day. Just perfect for our experiment. I have everything I need here in my wee bag. Are well, we going to witness an explosion? Oh, goodness me. No, I hope not. I'm astounded. Do you have all your paraphernalia contained in yon small pouch? Indeed it is, Mr. Turner. Everything except God's good sunlight. <laughs> Daddy, Mrs. Somerville is a natural philosopher. Is she now? Mathematician, astronomer, geologist. The universe is a wondrous thing, is it not, Mr. Turner? It is, to be sure. The planets and the stars, the oceans and the tides, the clouds and the air, mountains, volcanoes. The tides be subject to the effect of the moon. Quite so. The mysterious force of gravity. It is my strong belief that all things on this earth are connected. Nothing exists in isolation. Indeed. The rain falls, the sun shines, and the onions grow. Oh, yes. Daddy likes to affect the pretense of being a dunce. He's, in fact, a man of high intellect. He taught me how to read and write. Is that so? Education is an important thing. It is indeed most important for everyone. I myself am presently engaged in the tutoring of my children. That is indeed commendable. Which is a privilege that was not afforded to me. I am an uneducated, self-taught Scotch woman. Mrs. Somerville, you are what you are. As are we, Daddy. True. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Have you ever seen a prison? I have not. Ooh. There it is. That is a thing of beauty. Shortly you shall witness a rainbow passing through it. So Isaac Newton, Daddy. Ah. Gentlemen, uh, might I request that you close the shutters, please? Daddy. Ah. Oh. Tell us what to cease, Mrs. Somerville. We need to create an aperture to strengthen the colours. Mm. There. Daddy. Let uh, us ah! put the paper in place. No, it's in tax for Mrs. Somerville. No, no tax, Mr. Turner. The metal could contaminate the experiment. A wee nub of wax. Paper. And what is the purpose of the small piece of paper? I shall cover the bottom half of the needle so that it is not exposed. And what is it that you are about now, Mrs. Somerville? You'll have to wait and see, won't you? Uh, Daddy, I wager that is the first time you've witnessed a hammer being produced from the lady's reticule. For certain it is. <laughs> you have the arm of a blacksmith, Mrs. Somerville. <laughs> Throwing all those wee particles into chaos. Particles into chaos. Mrs. Somerville, what is the element contained within the violet light such as magnetizes the material? That is what, as yet, Mr. Turner, I do not know. Ah, uh, the majesty of mystery. Indeed. Now, let us allow nature to take its course. Although we will have to adjust the position of the easel from time to time. Indeed. As mighty Apollo moves across his heavenly track. Yes. <laughs> Shall I make it do a wee dance? Huh? <laughs> so, the end of the needle that was exposed to the violet light 
It's produced a magnetic north pole. Like a compass? Exactly so. Huh? Whereas Mr Turner had I done the same experiment using the red end of the spectrum, this needle would not have been magnetised. Mm. I have, from time to time, attempted it with the green and the blue, and it has succeeded on occasion, but not consistently. Colour is contradictory. Well, is it, Mr Turner? Colour is absolute. The sublime are contradictory yet harmonious. You are a man of great vision, Mr Turner. Mm. The universe is chaotic, and you make us see it. Mm. In natural philosophy, nothing can ever be proved, only disproved. Purity of your prism, the contamination of my palette. Natural light, blackness. White is a power of good, black is a devil. Mm. Mm.